destroy the Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job. You ready? You ready to fight? Let's do it. All right, ready to go for round one. He has won his last three fights. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak to four. He has been nothing if not dominant every step of the way during this streak. So no denying what is at stake for this young. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh! All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch him. And he's going for the choke now. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Getting tighter. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Both fighters back to their feet now. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Big call from Prince Lance. Now he gets back to range. Nice. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice. Now he gets a more dump. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. It's just missing on the uppercut there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini takedown. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick lands. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Just missed with the left there. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix. Wow, actually got the takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Back to the feet now. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is, oh man, look at that. Big turn, perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, close guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Game of inches right there, Damn boy. Him. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. I mean, Odo, where he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Wow! Beautiful diving strike lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. How good is that right hand? All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity padding. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Throws the right hand there. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fall. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! A 
right, we have reached the final minute of the fight. One minute remains in the fight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the guys of the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that treated.